Right, well, the coaches will be going to school in this mini off-season before the second season resumes. You can bet your life they'll be studying what they need to fix in their teams and they won't have their feet up. And so we've given our own Matthew Lloyd the challenge and tonight we launch Lordo's Lockdown List. Matthew, as you join us in the newsroom. Thanks, Hutchie. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at the Western Bulldogs as my first lockdown list. And I think that uh, when it's a free-flowing game, the Bulldogs are exceptional, but they've got to toughen up. And this is the first area I'm going to look at. They have to go from Poodles to Bulldogs. And when I'm saying that, <laughs> let's take a look at what happened in that final. No one will ever forget the way they were beaten up. The whole football world could not wait to see what would happen in round one. And the Collingwood did an absolute number on them and they're the most disappointing team out of round one. So that's something that when it's not free-flowing, what can the Bulldogs do to try and become the side they hope to be, who I think they should be a top-four side this season. The second one, less midfield possessions and more goals. So look at their midfield. It's a star-studded midfield. Bontempelli, 15 goals last year. Dunkley, 11. McRae, just five. And also Lockie Hunter, just five goals. So they need more goals and possessions forward of centre than in the back half. And they need Liberatore, I think, back into that midfield mix. The third area is they need to settle on a spine. I think, uh, you know, Shaki didn't play round one. Ryan Gardner played round one. Always a lot of, uh, you know, confusion around who their best tools are and who aren't. I'd get Trengove back in playing on the Monsters in defence for, uh, for the opposition. My last point here is... No more patience, English patience with uh, Tim English. So I think what happened in round one, we hoped he'd be more advanced than that. Let's take a look at what Brodie Grundy did do to him. And this was just as uh, convincing a ruck display as you'll ever see. Grundy got six Brownlow votes last year in the two games they played, and he's got another three Brownlow votes there. So I would lock him in a gym or give him all the weights that the Western Bulldogs have at their facility and say, Tim, try and come back an extra two or three kilos heavier because we cannot win a premiership if you are ragdolled and monstered like you were in round one. So there's my four points for the doggies, Hutch. I like it. Lordo's lockdown list, and we'll do that every week as we take a look at all the things the clubs will be... Did you agree with that, Kay? Yeah, I do. I think there's something also on them believing their hype. Like, when you get talked up all pre-season, everyone's got you as a premiership or top four favourite, then the players start to believe it, and that's how they played in round one. But everything Lordy said, spot on. 